All right, it's been a while since I've done a video, uh, so I'm going to do a five-part series with one of every pack, except for the first four sets. I'm going to be doing some white border packs, as I haven't done uh, those in a while. So this came out about the same time as the original Premier Limited set, but these ones were all uh, quite a bit later once they realized that uh, there was some text that needed changing and some updating to be more in line with the, the current text of the game. So we'll get started with the premiere here. And it's often pretty tough to get good cards in premiere packs just because they have the, the different levels of rarity, first of all. So the a lot of the less useful cards like interrupts and, and some of the sights, those are rare twos. Whoa, kind of missed that one a little bit. And then the better cards are uh, rare ones, which means there's half as many as the rare twos. But at least there's a pattern here, so the top four cards are going to be uncommons. Fifth card's going to be a rare, if I remember correctly. So we'll put that in the back so we see the rare last. All right, Rebel Barrier, not a bad card to get. Still pretty useful today. Gaffy Sticks. I tried doing these in a rep deck, but it didn't quite work out, and the text wasn't quite as good as uh, I thought once I read the changes to it. Okay, so we got Tatooine and Yavin 4 in here. Pretty soon we'll be back to our uncommon. Yep, traffic control. As somebody who likes to draw a lot of cards, I wish I could put fit more of these into more decks. Cool idea, but I don't know if these ever got serious play. Just kind of a weapon sitting out of sight. A tie advanced, so it looks like Vader's tie. I know our rear is a dark side card. Maybe it will be Vader's tie. That'd be interesting. It is a sight. Oh, the cantina. So um, in terms of how I always get a maneuver check in uh, a New Hope packs, it seems like the cantina is my go-to in, um, in premier packs. But I guess that sort of makes sense, since there's a light side and a dark side, so you're twice as likely to get it as other rares, if you count the other two as the same. So a new hope now. Um, revised edition, like we said before, so this was a couple years after the original release of the set. Instead of 15 card packs, they're down to 9 card packs. And the rare in these, I believe, is usually the last card. I think I got them all out of there. Don't know if I've ever had anything hit by an ion cannon, but I'll keep this guy in mind. Okay, I've always liked the, the way they do planets. Just the art they have for them. Okay, up. So the uncommons were putting the pack upside down. That's a little interesting. And not too bad. Not too bad to get. Dan's born. I imagine back in the day he had a lot of utility. Destiny 3, he could pilot or be a gunner, and decent deploy and forfeit. So an ability 2 pilot, who adds 3, why not? And then our rare is I'm on the leader. So not quite maneuver check, but uh, from the same uh, aspect of the game. And this is, I don't think they did rare 1s and rare 2s, so this is about as rare as anything else, but in the original set it was a rare 1. So it was twice as rare as uh, a lot of the other cards. Hoff is next. I think my second main character ever was a white border commander Luke Skywalker I got from one of these packs. Okay. This is a pretty good card after they virtualized it, but the original one, I'm not sure if it ever got much use. And if this didn't got, cost three force, I might play it more. Being able to return somebody to opponent's hand. But it's a lost interrupt, cost three force, destiny two. I can't imagine fitting it in. 
All right, we got the war room. Nice 2 0 for the light side. One more pass, and we have one more card till our rare. It's a starship, so it's probably the tyrant or the uh, stalker. It's the stalker, very nice. That is a good card to get from a Hoff pack. And finally, Dagobah. So I never bought much white border Dagobah, and uh, it seems like I don't have many commons or uncommons from that set either, so putting together common and uncommon sets for my store has been hard. Dagobah can be a little rough to open too, because unless you get a bounty hunter, uh, or one of their accessories, or Luke or Yoda, or I suppose, of course, the executor, uh, you're probably not going to get um, a card of note. And the bounty hunters aren't too good either. Pretty high deploy compared to forfeit. But a lot of cool stuff happened in Dagobah, and also a lot of cheesy cards that people thought were overpowered, and that's one of the things this... Or at least, maybe not overpowered, but at least uh, abusive. So a lot of that stuff got changed in this set. I should say the reprint of the set. Okay, so our rare was not the last card. That's interesting. But it is a bounty hunter weapon, so that's one of the more um, more desirable cards from the set, just because it's a you know from a recognizable, somewhat main character. Okay, Starship Levitation, I like that card. And end with the big one, Asteroid, and that is the light side version. So that's what people would use with Asteroid Sanctuary to basically just deploy a bunch of asteroid fields and uh, not interact with the opponent, but still win the game. Anyways, that is the uh, part one of five of our pack opening video. Very happy to get uh, the Stalker, and uh, in a couple of days I'll upload the next one. Thanks for watching.